need your opinion where to go with this. What's it um, doing? So, originally it got... Oh, is your screen cracked? Yeah, it's been. Originally it... All new injectors. It had a massive fuel leak. Fuel leak at the injector rails. Okay. So when it gets here and we hit the brakes and the pedal goes to the floor. <laughs> so we fixed two brake lines, but we didn't bleed them really that good. So the pedal's really terrible. We, I, I got to go somewhere with that. But right now, what happened is when we pulled it in, it was he drove it all the way from Penn Hills this way too, filling up the intake valley, dripping off the transmission. Oh, is like, that? Yeah, like it was leaking. I, they whoever put the injectors in cut half of the O-rings. Oh man! And then we got an O-ring kit. We put all the injectors back in with new O-rings to realize that two of them were leaking out of the electrical connector, the raw fuel. So we took it back apart. He had a box of old injectors. Oh goodness! We put a couple of them back in. We finally stopped the fuel leak. Okay. So. It starts up and Did it you idles. change the oil? Like, no. I so, know. I, I don't know. But, but wait. It was an external fuel leak. Oh, oh. It they wasn't. were leaking out of the connector liquid fuel out of the Oh, connector. okay, gotcha. I thought and we were out of leaking. The rings, but nothing in. You know, uh, okay, so okay. I honestly didn't check the oil. I didn't even think of that. But what's it doing now? Are you so sure? It starts up and runs, but under load, it's like, it's like a V8 Toyota, and uh. it's just, it's running hard. Like okay. It, it just misfires so bad. Sure. It's like random, and I, you know, I couldn't get any fuel trim readings because I keep, I think it keeps going into open loop fault shit, and... I don't know, you know, you'll feel it. Okay. I just need you to pin guide me which way to go. Okay. Misfire, misfire. One and four. O2 heater, bank two sensor two, accelerator pedal position sensor range performance, fuel pump relay, ECU circuit fault. Those are current. Let's see what the history ones are. Same. And pending. Basically the same. All right. So all kinds of misfires. What kind of data does this thing give us? Misfire data. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, I can feel the mist sitting right here. Sounds like the cats are hollowed out. Oh, it's absolutely secondary ignition. No doubt. Cylinder number one. We ain't driving this. We're gonna drive it right in the shop. Actually, can we just continue to film out here or what do you think? Sure. I don't need to drive this. I have, I believe, well, it depends on the coil system on this. That's an absolute dead misfire right there. That's showing cylinder three. Thanks, Toyota, for that. Uh, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, dude, that's constant. Constant misfire. I'm stuck in here. I can't. <laughs> okay, under the hood. Ah, damn it. It's those coils that I can't check. <laughs> I can't get good signals on these. Cylinder three, I said, right, Caleb? Dude, look at this negative post. I'll go somewhere else. Okay, let's get some data. Data. Just need to know firing order on this. Thank you, snap on. One, three, five, and seven. So left bank, front of the, I'm looking down here at this picture. Freaking awesome. One, three, five, so cylinder three is that one. We could we could play Swaptronics. If, if I can't get this signal, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And that's swapping coils around, see if we can make the misfire move. Just trying to get a signal on this coil. And as usual, I can't. Sucks. This feels like deja vu. For those of you guys watching, we literally just finished this Malibu that we swapped coils around on and proved the coil fault. 
And I did the same thing on that car. I couldn't get a secondary waveform. There's ways to do it. I can definitely, I can pull the coil and I can uh, put adapters in and get my Pico and get the waveform. And you know, by the time I do all that, like especially on this design and on the last car, just swapping the coils around is way faster. And I could feel it, I could, it felt secondary. It only does it like intermittently and under load and it has that real sharp feeling to it. I'm just swapping these two. It says one and two, it's not. It's like one, three, five, seven. They just have, they just have them listed as one, two, three, four because someone was in here and obviously put some parts in it for whatever reason. Well, let's take a look at it real quick. See if we see carbon tracks. I do not. Remember when we did Jake's car and we put the old coil back in? Mm -hmm. And the car was a no start. We called it as a bad coil. And then we put the old coil back in. There's your ignition coil. All right, now we gotta take the one off the car. Huge mistake. Look what I did. Which one's my good coil? Wait, this is the bad one. Are you sure? I'm positive. Did you just see me set I that have there? I on footage. You said this. It there. This, this is, the, is good the good one. one. <laughs> okay. I have on footage. You setting it right there. I know that's the good okay. one. Okay. All right, cranking it. You sure? You sure I didn't? I want you. You sure I didn't just put that old coil back in? Damn it! Son of a. Bitch. We just pretend that it didn't no, happen. we just bolted on the old coil that I took off. It's your fault, Caleb. I'm blaming you. It was it, it was that. it was your fault. Yeah, you said which one is it? I said it's this one. I'm certain. And that was the, <laughs> it was the one we took out. It's funny we could capture that on video. Yeah, that was a couple of years ago. <laughs> that was fun though. That was a good one. Remember Jake's uh, the. The weak spark, like from the air gap issue, no. it had like a sensor issue that was making making it misfire. It was an air gap issue inside the distributor. That one was cool too. I remember a few videos. Yeah, they start to all blend together when you've done a thousand of them. We've literally done a thousand videos. Isn't that crazy? I have like 500 now on premium and I have like 600 on YouTube. All right, let's get back in the truck. All right, so I moved it to cylinder one from three. Yep, it moved to cylinder one, watch cylinder one. Yo, well that was hard. Now here's the thing, that feels to me like more than a single cylinder miss. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. All right. Hey Danner, put a coil in it. Thanks for watching. <laughs> yep, see you later. <laughs> Insert the scene from Dumb and Dumber where he comes out, he's like, big gulps, huh? Well, see you later. Oh, big gulps, huh? All right. Well, see you later. <laughs> he needs a coil. Yeah. I'm going with that and go from there and however it runs. I mean, should we go around the block real quick? Let's do it just to make sure it feels like just only a single cylinder. Because he's worried about it being multiples. But what were our codes? We had, we had a bunch of codes too. Huh? It moved to cylinder one, the miss. So I moved it from three to one. That's it. Yeah. Smooth at idle. Rev it starts missing. Good right there. Listen. Yeah. Secondary ignition all day long when you hear that. It just has that distinct feel to it. I've had people ask me, how do you know? I, don't, I can't describe it any other way. It's more, you can feel it. Like it, it comes and goes. It's real sharp, you know? Yeah, because compression related misfires, they don't act that way. Injector misfires, they don't act that way. They're constant. 
compression related, you'll have a misfire at idle only sometimes, you run it and it feels fine, those kind of things. And see how smooth it's running now? Yeah. And then when you and then and then when you rev it, you hear the mist, it's yeah. constant. And then right there it's gone. Happy drum. Right there it's there it's back, mm -hmm. gone. You hear it coming and going. Yeah. That's almost always ignition related when you hear that. Now it can be a primary dropping out where you have like a wiring problem and stuff like that, but that's just typical. Okay, so remind me, Caleb, we have a downstream O2 heater circuit fault. I gotta tell Danner about that. We got some other stuff here too. Accelerator, pedal, sensor range, fuel pump. Uh, I, those um, I don't much care about. I'm gonna actually clear these for our test drive. Okay, so codes are gone. Go back to our data. We'll test drive this while we're looking at our misfire data. Watch our misfires here while we're driving. Oh yeah, it's a single cylinder all day long. You can hear it coming and going too. You can even, you can hear it in the exhaust tone. cylinder four there too so we we got a it is more than one cylinder he's got so i guess we i gotta swap one more coil because that's that's cylinder four as well okay so this goes two four six and eight on this side i'll swap four and six actually to be consistent i'll do uh I'll do two and four, the two, two front ones, just like it did on the other side. So we had pretty bad miss on four. So putting two and four and four and two, this was four. Let's see if we got some carbon tracks. Yeah, nothing really visual to show. All right, so cylinder four was moved to cylinder two, and already it's misfiring on cylinder two. So that's good. So uh, one, it should be one and two misfiring now. Yep, two's misfiring. So we got two bad coils. Just watch your cylinder two here. Right there, the misfire, the counter is not even working right now. That's weird. It's interesting when it misfires real hard on both those cylinders it's like the misfire monitor shuts off i had to let off the throttle and you'll see this in the edits that on the light throttle it's it showed the misfires on both cylinders both one and two where i moved the coils to so two bad coils for sure there you go there's your misfire on two misfire on one Okay, and then we had some throttle actuator codes, but they did a bunch of work to this with fuel leaks. So I don't know that we'll, some of that could have been set, uh, but we had a downstream O2 fault too, a 2-2 sensor fault. Was it a 1-2 or a 2-2 code? That sensor's dead. The the one two sensor's just not even moving at all. <laughs> Bank one sensor two. Let's see what's my report here. Let's see code. No, it's an O2 heater circuit fault on the two two. Okay. I don't care. I'll just let Danner know. He got some O2 faults too. Heater heater code on the 2-2 two two and then a 1-2 that's like dead zero. Let's see if they use a bias on these. I don't know that they do. 
if they use a bias voltage, we'll see these voltage signals climb with the key on. All right, I don't feel like waiting. Don't care at this point in time. Let's get code. Let's just make sure this throttle actuator code didn't come back and I think we're good. I think we can advise them at least on what to do from here. All right, um, that was a nice, quick, easy one, guys. Uh, again, uh, we can talk about charging diagnostic time. Uh, Caleb and I started this recorder 29 minutes ago, so we had a half an hour into it. Um, this is a regular diagnostic fee. And uh, again, the first hour, five minutes, 60 minutes, does not make a difference. It's one flat fee. We don't work for free and people pay for our expertise. And even though it was as simple as swapping coils around to identify the problem, um, experience, a scan tool that's capable of enhanced data. You're not gonna see those misfire counters on a generic global OBD2 scan tool. Um, all of that's factored in and um, yeah, make no apologies for it. Nice, quick and easy one. Guys, hope you liked that. That was easy for us and uh, probably good for you guys too. We'll see you next time. Just real quick, the Toyota, two cylinder misfire. Cylinder three, I moved to cylinder one, the coil and the misfire moved. Cylinder four, I moved to cylinder two, the misfire moved, both of those. So the I moved them up front. So the driver first. side's one, three, five, seven. Uh -huh. First coil is bad. Passenger side, same thing. Four, cylinder four was bad, two, four, six, eight. I moved four to two. So right now one and two are your two bad coils. Okay, cool, so I just need two coils. Yes, but you also had an actuator, throttle actuator, APP code that's gone, no longer there, just warn them about that. And then I have two, I had a bank two sensor two oxygen sensor heater circuit yeah, fault. Yeah. I never looked at it for Don't that. Care. I, he just wants to be okay. able to make it back and forth to work. Okay, and the, the other downstream O2 is completely dead. The one one or the one two is dead, zero volts all the time. And so the two two, downstreams? both downstreams okay. probably. I, I, so if I can get it to quit doing like that, that's yes. all I needed. Yes.